All right, so here's what we have going on. Uh, I've got two triangles that are here. They have some marks, and there's possibly things that I can add uh, into the picture that would help me see if the triangles are congruent or not congruent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to immediately look for reflexor property or vertical angles, and I'm going to add that information in. So I see these two triangles, and I'm going to highlight them very quickly here. So I have this yellow triangle right here, and I have this blue triangle right here. And if you remember back, I don't know how many days ago, we talked about reflexive property, and it's when a shot side is shared. I'm going to put an X on there. I'm going to put reflexive property right here. I'm not going to write anything more than that. I'm just going to write reflexive property, kind of indicating why I put that um, set of, that mark that I have there. Okay, so now I, there's no vertical angle, so I'm covered there. So now what do I have going on? Well, I see a right angle right here, and that means there also has to be a right angle over here, which means hypotenuse leg is a possibility, not that it's definite, but it's a possibility. So I look, and I have the hypotenuse of the yellow triangle, the hypotenuse of the blue triangle, and then because I have this reflexive property right here, I have a leg. So I have hypotenuse leg here, and I have to make sure, remember, that I needed that reflexive property to get to hypotenuse leg. 